Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today we're back with another tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up voting plugin so that you can give players rewards for voting on your Minecraft server. So let's get straight into it. So before we start with the installation you will need to know a couple of things. Before you set up this plugin you will need a plugin like New Votifier or Votifier set up on your Minecraft server. If you don't know how to do this, go on a link in the description and there'll be a link to this video so you can learn how to set up New Votifier. So once you've got New Votifier or Votifier set up, we can begin the installation of Voting Plugin. So once you're ready to go, let's go ahead and install this plugin. So just click download now, there'll be a link to this page in the description down below. Click save, then go to your Minecraft server in the control panel, then go to the file manager, then go to the plugins folder, click upload file, choose files and select voting plugin and upload it. Then once you've done that, restart your server. If you have any issues throughout the tutorial, make sure that your server is running Spigot as this plugin doesn't thoroughly work on Bucket. However, once you've restarted your server, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and join our server to take a look at some of the commands that are available in game. So as you can see, I've just joined my Minecraft server. So let's take a look at some of the commands which are available to voting plugin. So first let's take a look at the standard command which is slash vote. And as you can see here, it brings up a GUI which we'll be able to configure later. So later on we'll be able to configure it. So if you click this, it will come up with a message in chat that displays all the voting websites that you've configured to be displayed. So let's take a look at some of the other commands. So if we type slash vote help, this lists basically all the commands that are available to normal players. So I'm not going to go through all of these as there are loads of different commands um, and they all are commented on individually so you can pretty much read about what each one does. So next we're going to take a quick look at the administration commands. So if you type slash av help, you can see that the admin vote commands appear. And we're not really going to be using any of these, um, but feel free to take a look at each of them. So now that we've joined the server and confirmed that the commands are working and the plugin is functioning, we can go ahead and start configuring it. So let's go back into the control panel and we'll take a look at the configuration files. So if you go to the file manager, then the plugins folder, then voting plugin, and you'll see there are a collection of different YML files and folders that we're going to be taking a very quick look at. So the first file that we're going to be taking a look at is votesites.yml. So in here, you basically list all the websites that you want players to vote on. So before you go ahead and edit this, it is a good idea to list your web, your Minecraft server on some different websites. So I've gone ahead and listed my server on Planet Minecraft. Um, I'm only going to be doing one for this tutorial, but you can add as many vote sites as you want. So once you've listed out on a couple of voting sites or just one, you can go ahead and start editing this file. So inside of this file, by default, you'll see an example vote site. So we're going to edit this for the first vote site so we can understand how it works. So let's go down the list and change each setting appropriately. So the vote site name, I'm going to change to Planet Minecraft. And you can name this anything you want, just don't add a space, make sure it's all correctly um, laid out. So the next setting is whether you want to enable this vote site or not. So I'm going to set this to true as I want this vote site to be enabled in game. Then the next setting is going to be the display name for the voting site. So again, I'm just going to put Planet Minecraft as this is for the Planet Minecraft website. So the next setting is priority. So if you have more than one vote site installed, this is where this comes into play. If a vote site has a higher priority than another, it will come higher up in the list when someone types slash vote. Um, so I only have one installed, so I'm just going to leave it at five, um, but feel free to configure that however you want. So the next setting is the service name. So basically, this is the main part of the URL from the website that you're voting from. So for this vote site, it's Planet Minecraft. So you need to get the main part of the domain, which is planetminecraft.com. So just copy that and paste it there. And I know it was already Planet Minecraft in the example, but that's what you would usually do if it was a different website. So say if it was minecraftservers.org and say you were voting on Candy Craft, you would use minecraftservers.org and that's what you would copy. So just make sure you have the correct service name for the website which you're on. So the next setting is the vote URL. So this is basically the URL where users will be taken to. So in this case, I'm already on it for the Planet Minecraft one, but if you don't know how to get to it, Go to your server list and then click a vote for them as a top server. Click on it and then just copy that URL and then paste it in between um, those quotations here. 
So the next setting is how many hours are in between votes. So this depends on the website that you're voting on. And um, for Planet Minecraft, you can vote once per day. So that's once per every 24 hours. So for most websites, it will be 24 hours. Um, so just set it to 24 unless your website's different. So the next setting is vote delay daily. So this basically resets the vote delay each day. So if a player votes at nine o'clock at night, basically, they'll be able to vote at nine o'clock in the morning as well. They don't have to wait 24 hours between each vote. It's more about voting daily. Um, however, most sites don't do this. So just leave this as false unless you know your website does this. So the next setting is give offline. So this is basically whether it gives the rewards when the player's offline or not. And this can cause troubles as sometimes players won't get items and things. And um, so I recommend leaving this as false. So the next setting is the item which is displayed in the GUI for this vote site. So if you remember when we type slash vote, usually just an emerald icon appears for the default settings. And um, so for the first vote site, I'm just gonna leave it as a diamond as that's how it is. Um, and I'm only gonna be having one vote site, but you can change the material um, and the amount it displays as and stuff in the GUI. So the next setting that we're going to be taking a look at is the rewards. So this plugin has different ways of defining rewards. You can do it directly on the vote sites or you can do it in different files. We're going to be doing it directly on the vote sites as it's one of the most simplest ways to do it. So to get started, let's start editing the rewards section. So by default, it's set to use the file system, but we're not going to be using that as I've explained, it's a bit more complicated. Um, so just remove that. And then it's important here, whilst we're editing this, that you follow the correct formatting procedure so that everything lines up correctly with the correct amount of spaces and so on. So if you just type a couple of spaces, so it's below the W on rewards, and then if we type commands, colon, and then enter a new line, and then go below the first M and type console, and then new line, and then go all the way up to just below the C and type a dash, then create some quotes and then in here we can type a command which is going to run so let's say when a player votes we want to give them one diamond you would type give percent player percent and this would fill in with the player's name that voted so say if John voted it would say give John and then diamond one so this means it will give that player one diamond and let's say we want it to also give them a stick for example just do the same thing give percent player percent stick one and you can do any command it doesn't have to be these ones so let's say you wanted to give some money to a player and you had essentials installed you could do slash eco give percent player percent and then the amount and um, but we don't have that we're just going to be sticking with these two items for now but you can add any command you want and as many commands as you want there is no limit to the commands that you add so once you've done that, that's pretty much all the vote sites. And now we've got the reward set up, we've set up um, the links, the names, the priority, and so on. So once you've done all of this, click save, and then restart your server. And then just quickly before we join and test this, we're going to take a very quick look at the config.yml file. So this file is basically um, all the settings that are available to the plugin. You can change so many different things in here, but it is all commented very nicely. So you can go through this yourself um, and learn how to set it up in the way that you wish. You can change how messages are displayed, color codes, um, various different settings. But again, it, you can see it is a very large file. So we're not going to be going through it all in this tutorial, but feel free to go through it um, by yourself and just read the comments for each setting. So once you've made any changes to this file, again, just click save and then again, restart your server. So now that we've configured everything, we can go ahead and join the server and test the voting. So as you can see, I've just joined my server. And if we go to type slash vote, it'll bring up a GUI. And if we click all votes voting sites, it will come up with the ones that we've added. So if we open the chat and then click that link, click yes, it should take us directly to the voting um, link or site that we entered earlier. So if I type in my username and then click vote, the vote should go through. So as you can see, the vote went through successfully. So if I go ahead and go back onto my server. So as you can see on my server, I've been given the diamond and the stick and it said a couple of announcements directly to me and it's broadcasted one to the server. 
And as you can see, it did run the commands through the server. And as I'm an operator on the server, I can see that those commands were run. So again, this is basically all you need to know about the voting plugin. It's a really nice plugin and it has loads of customizable features and um, which makes this plugin great. So if you need any further help with this plugin, feel free to take a look at the wiki. There'll be a link to this down in the description below. And further from that, if you still can't figure out something that you need to do or you're running into a problem, just contact our support. You can contact them on our website um, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.